Well, I'm glad someone's having a good time. I've only just come to pick up Jake. I won't be a minute. No, you stay as long as you want, love. We've all got to live together here. Look, I didn't know you were coming. I'd have dropped Jake off. He's just rubbing as he's facing it. Yeah, well, at least Alia cares about him, which is more than could be said for you. I'll go. In. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah, Roy was asking after you before. He's opening the cafe on Monday. So? I'll just go and see him, will you? He's all on his own over there. You know how much you mean to him. Hiya. Oh, hi. Is Nick about? That's 240 hours community service. Go on, say it. It's nothing. It's E into 24, which is 30 days working for free. No, it's not free, love. It's repaying a debt to society. I hadn't heard. Probably my fault for not having a mobile telephone. Oh, you, you're here? Well, that's, um... That's good news. Well, for me, anyway. Got community service, 240 hours. 30 days. And I know it could have been, should have been harsher, but... Hey. Two verdicts. Case closed. Uh, a chance to draw the uh, line. Oh, so, sorry, I, I won't keep you from your dinner. Yep, it's no bother. Thanks for calling, Roy. You, you'll be glad to put this uh... Nightmare. It's been hell on earth, right? Yes, well, uh, I'll be pleased to see it over, too. Yeah. Wipe the slate clean. I hope so, because you know what, ma'am? 240 hours of picking up litter. It's not compared to what you two have lost. Of me. Yeah, well, I've only got so much energy in me. I, I need it for my family. I understand. Yeah. There he is, a brother. Of course, he's angry. I wasn't there for her. Just should have taken oh, my yeah, phone. Yeah, you should have taken your phone. Yeah, I know, sweetheart. But you know what? We all make mistakes, don't we, Owen? Well, she's going to be all right, isn't she? And that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll pop around and see you later on. But first, I'm going to go and see my son. Yeah, good of you to make the time. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, Mum, just leave it. No, if you're upset about something, don't start taking it out on him. Well, that's an order, is it? Oh. Oh, I'm going. Right, well, will you give him a kiss from me, please, love? Will do. I need to get back. Bless him. Oh, will you get that one printed out for me? Yeah, of course I will. Do you want a drink? No. I'm all right, thanks, love. You took some lovely pictures of Jake, didn't you? Ah. Well, at least it reminds you of what it looks like, eh? I mean, you know, now you've got a new girlfriend and all that. Do you know what? I think I'll leave that drink. I'm going to shoot off and see Alia. All right. I don't know what you expect him to do. Of course he wants to be with her. I'd have been in a right state if that had happened to me. Yeah, well, my daughter's in the right state because of him. Still is, as far as I know. Why are you doing this? They both know it's over. They've had to move on as he accepts that. Why can't you? No, love. She's had to accept it because those two lovebirds are rubbing her face in it, OK? But and you seem to you... think... You know what? I've had enough of this. I'm not doing it again. Not doing what? I'm not doing this. I'm not siding with you. I'm not going to let him down. For some reason, you just seem to get pleasure out of that. Well, not this time, sorry. Steve, I apology. know. I'm not expecting anything. Yeah, well, Gary's my son. Yeah, and he's my daughter. This is ridiculous. I couldn't agree more. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. Oh, I've got to get to work. Yeah, me too. Are you two rowing again? No. Did you send that farm from a school photo? Yeah, it's on the table there. You had your breakfast. Here we are, mine earlier. My ball's in the sink if you don't believe me. I didn't believe you. Have you given her a dinner money? No. Here you go. See you later. See you. Right, I'm just going to go and clean my teeth. If you, um, if you hang on a sec, I'll walk you over to the bus stop. Um, there's no need. No, it's all right. You can give me all the gossip from school. Is everything all right? Yeah? <laughs> what? Are you sure? Yes. All right, then, come on, you don't want to miss your bus. Mum. 
and it's ham and cheese without the cheese, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry, blame me. It's OK. Oh, how many times have I told you? Oh, it all goes down the same hole, doesn't it? Are you working on any special projects today, darling? The tramps? You can't call them that. Rough sleepers. Did you know that in Manchester, there's a homeless person every quarter of a mile? Mm. You sure about that? I think so. I'll check Mrs Clarkson. All right, well, bye, darling. Proud of you. See ya. Yeah. Please, Roy. Doesn't it feel like a right treat having your breakfast out on a weekday? You know what, that's your fault for distracting me. She's got no money on her, she'll starve. Hardly. She'll have a tea when she gets home. She's 12, she needs to eat. Oh, not too runny, please, Roy. Look, you'll have to take it to the school. You what? Well, I can't go, can I, Roy? She needs a lunch. You don't think you're overreacting? What, because I don't want her collapsing on the classroom floor? Come on, love. Don't comment, love, it's patronising. Since when? I I'm sure the school won't allow Faye to go hungry. Oh, you reckon? Oh, she'll be fine. You know what, I'm just going to sit over here and wait for the egg. Is everything all right? Yes, okay? yeah, you would. She'll be fine. I'm a grumpy cow. And I'm a clown. Well, why don't you take your break? I'll bring some tea over. Oh, thanks, Roy. Listen, I don't want to waste our time arguing over packed lunches or you chucking tea in the washing up bowl. I'm worried about Faye as well, you know. Well, she's definitely not herself. She hasn't been for yeah, ages. She's a funny age. I've been here twice before, remember? Yeah, no, I just hope it's nothing too serious. The many food outlets use a pre-packed mix. I, I believe the topping should be hand-crumbled. That said, the fruit and uh, crumble ratio is the important element. Uh, Craig? I don't like too much apple. Craig, do you know what's wrong with Faye? Wrong? No. I don't know nothing. Come on, son, I'm asking you to grasp her, you know. Uh, aren't we? Craig? You should speak to Faye. Oh, right, so there is something wrong, then. Do you know what? If you was her mate, if you was her proper mate, you'd want us to help her, wouldn't you? Craig. Craig! It's not on. Especially when they're going to open up issue in front of the whole family. We're busy in case you can't get any truth out of them. Shh. Hi, love. Hey. Is he and Katie coming for tea? Shepherd's pie. You hungry? I suppose. How was school? Yeah, good, but I've got loads of homework, so I'm going to go and do it now. You, uh, you did go to school, did you, love? Only from what we've heard, the only reason you know so much about the homeless is because you've been hanging out with them on oh, park no, bang, no. Minute, park benches, shopping centres, everywhere else but your classroom. Why didn't you tell us you were getting picked on again? Because you go on and on, making me talk. Think about it makes me feel worse. Why do you think I hang out on my own? I just want to forget about it. I know, darling, but I can't believe that you don't think you can't talk to us. It's not your fault. Well... <sighs> Is it true what they're saying? That you're chubby? Mum, please. Oh, Faye, they're just jealous. You are absolutely perfect. Why didn't I know about this? School, they normally text me if you've got so much as a runny nose. Well? I forged your signature. Oh, Faye. Mum, I'm sorry. Right, well, today is the last day that that happens, OK? It's our term next week, but one way or another, we're going to get it sorted before you go back. Right. What about the rest of the week? This is Katie's fault. She promised not to say anything. Katie? Why didn't you tell me? She made me promise. Right, listen, it's good that we know, cos now we can get it sorted. If we report it, they'll rip me to shreds. Everyone eats snitches. Right, do you know what? What was you thinking mm. keeping this from us? Thank God for Craig. Hang on, I only found out a couple of hours ago. <laughs> But you should never have promised you'd keep it a secret. I mean, you're a healthy size, love. Not like these bags of bones starving oh. themselves to death. What are you going to say that to her for? A fay? Nice one, Katie. You can't mess with bullying. You've got to face it. She trusted me. I'm not exactly going to go behind her back. It's just one thing after the other, Farah. And how exactly are you going to help her, eh? I mean, you're nothing but a kid. Maybe if you weren't so hardcore, Dad, she wouldn't be sat in a room crying her eyes out. Come on. Dad's just worried about her. No. Katie's right. You've gone and made it worse. She's already said she can't open up to us, and then you have a go at her. I thought we were going to handle this together. A bit of backup would be helpful. Ah, well, Hey, you... your tea's ready. Right, listen, however any of us have handled this, it's because we've all got the same priority, yeah? Faye. So between us, we're going to work something out. Yeah, sorry. You're a good dad, really. Ditto. Mm -hmm. But Mum, obviously. <laughs>
That is not what he was saying the other day when he found out Joseph had hairspray on. <laughs> that was Steph. <laughs> Where's Gary anyway? Serving the community. Mm, Gone out the community. Oh, you cheeky thing. Sorry. Uh, don't you dare start that talk. Lemonade. Hey, listen, I've just been telling these there's this lad on Gary's community service who'd nick the shirt off your back from under your jacket. Hey, <laughs> Gary, that good? He got caught. <laughs> yeah, well, the supervisor, he's noticed that some tools was going missing, so he's told him he's being filmed 24-7. Only thing is now, the lad thinks he's on some sort of reality TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that show. Oh, yeah, and now, every time anybody talks to him, he makes sure that he doesn't swear in case he gets evicted. <laughs> Robin, I think his name is, but they call him Simon. Because he's simple. No, because he wears his jeans yanked up to him like Simon <laughs> Cowell. Mm. I'll get it. Uh, no, you sit down, you. Anybody think you're trying to swerve my shepherd's pie? Hey, a life without your shepherd's pie is a life I couldn't live. Oh, you <laughs> cheeky so and so. Hello, Windass Armstrong residents. If you like shepherd's pie and tin peas, do make your way up. Uh, hey! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Owen? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming down. Nobody touched my plate, right? Mm -hmm. eh? be horrible and you do know that you're not fat and even if you were mom can you just drop it Could you please Get love no one's interested just go with you what's going on you... i'm sorry who's this 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 is our mother apparently what do you want you're a young woman did you know she was coming You've not answered the question. What do you want? Who oh, cares what she wants? You heard them. I'm sorry. But I'm going nowhere. Oh, really? All right, OK. Um, listen, I think everybody just needs to calm down. Um, Faye, hey, sweetheart, go and eat your food in your room. There's a good girl. No, I want to stay. Go now, please. Go. Um, you better sit down. why she's here and it's got nought to do with her suddenly finding her in her earth mother well maybe i don't know maybe she's got a serious illness or something <laughs> like we should cut her oh is she your mum no look i know you're right she doesn't deserve anybody's sympathy not after what she's done let alone yours she looks different though from how i imagined her you know from what your dad had said oh well about time sorry love i just needed Bit of a shock, you know. Yeah, you're telling me. Sorry. So, uh, what does she have to say then? Just more excuses, you know. So she's staying? I didn't ask. I remember the night she left. Dear. Dad was crying. I thought, she'll be back. She'll be back. I waited. And I waited. She never came. In the end, I just gave up waiting. Why did she never try to see us, Dad? Well, that's not natural. So is she coming back or what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I can't believe she'd just turn up like that after what she did. All my life, I have struggled to be accepted, and it's down to her. Well, I wish she'd rot in hell. Oh, we had fun. I'd pick it out in a crowd, if that's what you mean. She's quite glamorous. You know, is she? Mm, you must have thought so once. Mm, I thought a lot of things once, love. Poor Izzy, eh? I'd have never abandoned my Gary. And poor girls. Well, you... You two are very different people. Mm. Want me to run you a bath, eh? Make you feel better. Thanks. Oh, and if you want to talk about no, it. I'm fine, love. Okay. All right, well, I'm. I'll get into bed. Okay. Okay, good night. Yeah. yeah. Once a week, shouldn't we? A nice family breakfast. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. Shame Joseph and Jake suffer through it, though. Mm. Oh, it was lovely, Anna. I really appreciate the effort. Oh, it's no bother. I've got today off anyway. Do you know anything good? Well, I'm probably going to catch up on a bit of cleaning and that grouting in the bathrooms in better days. Mm. Oh, fun never stops. Mm. 
Actually, I was um, I was thinking that we might go out for lunch if you like. I've got a money off voucher for that cafe in Crimea Street. Oh, is that the one that does the tapas? Yeah, mm. like silly bits and bobs food wise. No, listen, I, I can't love. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm seeing Linda. Why? Why? Well, because I want this nipped in the bud. This is down to you. If you'd ignored her, she'd have gone away by now. She's a user, Katie. She'll be all over you, and then she'll drop you again. Stop rowing. Sorry, Faith. Uh, no, we're not rowing, darling. Not really. It's just that everyone's still a bit shocked, that's all. When she's been sent on her way, we'll all be fine. Now then, are you all set for tonight? It's Faye's half term out show, isn't it? I'm not right for smoke going. Well, I am. We can't wait, can we, Owen? No. I can see how much she's hurt you. I'm not hurt, love. I'm flaming well furious. Right. What are you getting at? Nothing. No, go on. If you've got something to say, say it. It's the way you are about her. Anybody would think that she'd left you months ago, not years. I just don't want her thinking she can just breeze in here and shake everything up, OK? I'm not having it. Don't go jumping to conclusions. <laughs> Excellent school. Everything's kicking off at home. Poor kid doesn't know she's going up the wall or not. Yeah, sorry. Come on, shake a leg. Can I sit next to the window? Uh, You're very quiet. Is everything all right? Yeah. Do you know Judy or honey as much as I appreciate? I've asked Mrs. Donaldson to keep an eye on you, make sure you're OK. I don't need a babysitter. No. You know, if you've got any worries, then you must speak to her or speak to me. Promise me that. Here she is, Picasso. Hey, Picasso was a man. Hey, your work's the best here. Have you seen some crazy art, you know, the maddest thing ever? There's a bucket over there with a bread roll in it. <laughs> What's all that about? Mm, I like proper art, me. You know, pictures of dogs and flowers, things I can recognise. And that picture there, made of chuddy. Not very hygienic, is it? Well, then safe to have a field day, wouldn't they? Go and have a look at this. Okay. Owen? Hmm? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I know you don't want to be here, but if you just. I'll put a smile on her face, okay? Well, we'll praise her a bit, give her a boost. Hey, hospitals! There's some stew upstairs, I can't see it. I'm not hungry. Right, I'll uh, go up, sit the kettle on. Listen. Stew's not fattening, you know. It's a nice bit of meat, some nice veggies. I'm not hungry. No one said anything to you, have they? What? Tonight at school, those horrible girls weren't around. No. Are you sure? Because I'm telling you now, I will. Mum! They're bored of me now. They've moved on to someone else. Oh, darling, come here. Let me give you a great big hug. Get off! Get off! Stop fussing! Do you really think a hug's going to make it all better? Dad! Can I come to yours? Yeah, of course you can if it's all right with your mum. Yeah, it's fine by me. Come on, then. How are you feeling? Shut up. It's the movie season. I love a disaster movie, me. I was thinking more of something that we could watch with Faye, you know, like a rom-com or something with a plucky cartoon animal. No, I prefer something with an earthquake myself. Yeah, or a volcano erupting. Honestly, do the pair of you have to be so flaming grim? Our lives have been a disaster over this past year. Can we not just watch something a bit more cheerful? Oh, come on, I know things have been a bit wrong, but, you know, we're only up again now, aren't we? Well, now your ex-wife's back. Right, come on, darling, get that down. You don't want to be late to meet your mates. So what are you going to do in town all day? Just hang around. Some of them want to go bowling, but I don't know if I can be bothered. All right, well, if you change your mind, they should help it. It's fine, honest. Hey, take it before he asks for it back. Thanks, Owen. Come on, eat. I'm not hungry. Love, I don't want Linda around here either, but what can I do? I've told her to sling her hook. Yeah, well, do you know what? Just make sure she does, cos I swear to God, I have had enough recently to last me a lifetime. I better go or I'll be late. Oh, come here, come here, you. Come on, give us a hug. Come on, ignore me banging away first thing. I just like a good moan sometimes, that's all. Sometimes. Hey. <laughs> right, come on, sis. I'll walk you to the bus stop. OK. See you later. See you, love. See you, darling. In a bit. See you, guys. Ooh. So? Is this ex-wife of yours going back to where she came from, or what? It's on me. Hey, 
Um, what do you think you're playing at? Hey, I thought we'd agreed you'd be staying away. Uh, excuse me, I don't have any trouble, thank you. There won't be. What are you doing having a drink with her? It was my fault. <laughs> Seems to be a reoccurring theme. Look, I just wanted one last drink with my daughter before I go. Oh, nice. Well, if I didn't feel rejected before, thank you for making it crystal. Look, why don't we all just sit down and... No! Maybe... No. Just go. We've managed this long without you. I never rejected you. What about the last 18 years? What was that, a sabbatical? Do you know what your selfishness did to me, to all of us? And you think you could just turn up, buy us a drink and everything's OK? You're a disgrace. <sighs> OK, um, I'm sorry, Owen. But I've kept quiet this long. But it's time the girls knew the truth. What's she on about? Nothing. Linda, don't, OK? I don't want to be painted as a villain anymore. It's not fair. You think I left because of your EDS that I couldn't cope? I didn't. He lied to you. Don't listen to her, OK? I tried to come back, but you wouldn't have me. I tried to keep in touch, but he would not let me. I sent letters, birthday cards, Christmas cards, everyone returned, unopened. Is this true? I've still got them. I'll show you if you like. Dad! I swear. Straight after your diagnosis. I had an affair. It's not the same thing. You left when your daughter needed you most. Not because of her. Because I was a mess. And two months later, not even two months, I tried to come back. I missed you. But he wouldn't let me through the door. Is this true? You didn't deserve to come back. You weren't thinking about Izzy, you were thinking about yourself. You wanted to punish me. I have done nothing but think about Izzy and Katie ever since you destroyed our family. And what kind of father lets his daughter believe that the mother left because of her disability? I never said that, love. Yes, you did. No. And you always thinking it. I remember asking you, clear as day, we were sat on my bed on the green duvet, and I said to you, is it because of me? And you said we're better off without her. Is he wet enough? Do not come near me! Oh, steady, love. You're gonna run me over. It was complicated, love. How could you do that? I'm not talking to you. Anna. I'm not doing this to you. How much I hate her for leaving us. She did and leave. All this time she wanted to come back. Look, love, we were better off without her. Your mum was, she was a mess. No, she had an affair. I had an affair. I left church when Joseph was 18 months old. So what? Does that mean I don't deserve to be a mum? Oh, it's it's different. No, it's exactly the same. You needed a stable home life, okay? Your mum was not a stable person. She was still our mum, and you had no right to keep her away. And I am sorry. Do you realise what this has done to Izzy? I just wanted to protect you, you know, both of you. Do you know how guilty she's felt all these years? Underneath that confidence, she still feels it now. She hates herself. And you've really helped her self-esteem, haven't you, Gary? Hey, I loved her. I still care about her now. You know nothing about responsibility. You know nothing about being a husband or a father. So please don't say another word, I swear. Oh, what? I... What, are you going to hit me again? It's answer to everything, that, isn't it? Don't tempt me, lad. Yeah, I'll give you one back for Izzy. Right, stop it! Stop this! I think you better go, Owen. What? I don't want Faye walking into all of this. Fine, I'll go and find Izzy. She doesn't want to see you. Yeah, then I'll make her see me. Anna, come on. Just go. Go. girls blanking me without you doing it as well. I'm not blanking you. I just feel sorry for him, that's all. Look, I know I did the wrong thing, but at the time I wasn't thinking straight, OK? Well, no, of course not, because she was the love of your life, wasn't she? I never said that. Hang on, what? what? 
Is that what this is all about? No. Because all that was a long time ago. Do you know what? I've had enough of this. Where are you going? To get my daughters back. time will be back. Do you know what? I don't know. The film started at seven, but you've got half an hour of trailers these days, haven't you? Yeah, at least. What's he got to see? Um, I think it's a film about an alien who's gone to live in Doncaster. It's a British thing, Gally's choice, apparently. Uh, is your old man in? Uh, yeah, he's in the shower. Listen to the nice old here. <laughs> you all right, Owen? <laughs> oh, mate. He's looking for our Gary. He wants an hand with some tiling. Yeah, in Maria's kitchen, just two rows. I don't suppose you could come and have a look, could you? What? Well, I'm taking Anna to the pub, mate. Oh, I've got to get ready, yeah. What? I mean, even if it's just a few points, just like 20 minutes of your time, then at least I'm in the hands of an expert. Oh, listen, if it kicks off, she's got three covering the back. Oh, you're still in uniform. Look at the time. Come on, you, bed. I feel a bit ill. Really? Phew. Hi, hiya. Hey. She's still up. <laughs> You look stunning, love. We're going to the pub for last orders, you know. Yeah, I know. He's got him back. No, he's gone to get himself some chips. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yeah. Uh, i got some grout on my sleeve. Oh, uh, no, don't bother changing now. Come on, turn round, straight back out, we're going. Mm. Right, sweetheart, we'll see you later, OK? OK, all right. Bye. Yep. Mm. Beckoned him on my hands and knees, in she walks. She was on the phone to Katie laughing and joking. Linda. Linda flaming car to the way everybody goes on. At least your Katie does. Honestly, all she needs is a costume. <laughs> She's my first true love. Why would you want to rub that in? What? Well, can't you see him feeling insecure? No. <laughs> no, love. Wonder Woman was. Wonder Woman was my first true love. All right. Look, you can't blame them. She's their mother. Well, I don't blame, is it? And she's not all bad. Why'd you keep looking at the door? I don't. Who are you expecting? Nobody. She can't hold a candle to you, love. <laughs> I thought she wasn't all bad. Look, she said she'd help smooth things over between me and the girls, that's all. I can help you smooth things over. All right, calm down. Oh, the long way. That's not out. Is it this one? No, that's Jake's. Oh, well, maybe he's his second Joseph by mistake. Give her a text. Well, I'm going to the pub later to meet my mum anyway. I'm hoping she's going to come. Well, we could go to the pub, couldn't we, love? Uh, well, I've made tea now. Yeah, but after, you know, for a drink. Catch up with Izzy. <sighs> yeah, she'd love that. Catch up with you, then. Between your mum and your new boyfriend, how do you ever see you? Oh, Izzy can't come now anyway. She's got Jake. He's all right. I'll give her a ring later about that girl. Mommy, mommy! Oh, fancy the pub. Well, if Linda's gone, she's not going to want you there and all, is she? Look, the more we all get on, the more Izzy will chill out. Linda's the best way through to her. Well, Izzy's not going, is she? No, but they'll talk. You don't have to come. Uh, if you're going, I'm going. Now, are you going to eat the chilli or am I sticking it back on the hob? All I wanted was a night of me and my mum. Well, I thought it'd be good for us all to get together, eh? Rather than whispering in corners. What? You mean you just wanted to gag in? Oi, don't be rude, you. It was my idea to come. No, gate crashing's rude. Do you know what? I'll ring the mum and I'll meet her somewhere else. Well, you could have encouraged her to stay. Me? Yeah, anything I say will make it worse. She'll be out there blaming it all on me now. Right, so what's bothering you? That Kate is annoyed at you or what Linda will think of you? What well, right now is that you're not backing me. I do nothing but back you. Nothing but picking up the pieces and all I do is get is grief. Of course they are, Philly Boots. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> Exciting's one word for it. My wallet is having a panic attack as we speak. <laughs> Never had anything like this when we were kids, eh? The furthest we got was a day trip to Southport. No, a bag of chips and a false nine gale. Didn't do us any harm, though, did it? It's an investment in their future. Jackson's looking forward to it, aren't you? If you say so. All right, you, Jackson. We've heard a lot about you with Faye's mum and dad. Where's our Faye got to? You better get here before it starts. 
Let's have a photo of you stuffing your face with a donut. Enough of the donut jokes. <laughs> Oh, look. <laughs> oh. How is she, love? She says she's just tired. Yeah, well, she'll be fine in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Owen. You just sweep it all to one side, eh? We take a nice trip down memory lane. I don't think that's what he was doing. Come on, love. <sighs> it's getting late. Maybe I should go. Yeah, do you know what? Maybe you should. Anna? No. You don't have to leave. No, it's fine, honestly. I'll see you later, Katie. So that's it. All right, I'm sorry if I spoil your family occasion. Next time I'll go out, eh, and leave you all to it. Oh, for God's sake, am I not allowed to spend time with my own daughter? Yeah, well, Faye's your daughter, too. You could try spending more time with her. Faye's behaving like a spoiled brat at the moment. She needs to learn that she can't just strop off every time somebody doesn't suit her. Well, do you know what? If you had an ounce of sensitivity in you, you'd realise there was a lot more to it than that. Like what? Well, like, for one thing, she's obviously worried about her weight. Every teenager's worried about her weight oh, these days. you know what? Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Look, I'm sorry, but at the moment, I've got to concentrate on my own girls. I'm going to work. Hiya. Listen, I'm sorry about last night. Yeah, so you should be. Well, why don't you come round for your tea tonight, eh? I'll cook you that pot roast you like. No, thank you. Probably seeing Colin. Well, thanks for trying, anyway. Look, I'm sorry. didn't so... mean what. I hate rowing. Yeah, me too. Well, why don't we go out tonight, eh? Just me and you. And what about Faye? Well, Gary's got a film that she wanted. They're going to watch it after tea. Yeah, OK. That'd be nice. You should have wound him up. Thanks. I hope Faye's OK. Maybe I should text Gary, eh, see how she is. All right, I'm sorry. It's hard to switch off, that's all. <laughs> Even when the girls aren't around, I can still feel them glaring at me. Eric, anyway, no more talk about kids. No. Have some crisps. Yeah, great. <laughs> well, me mother's staying with the mates. Why don't you join us, Liz? Thank you very much. Katie. Thought you might be in here. I hope we're not interrupting. Oh, of course not. Right, what's everyone having? You sit down, I'll get these. Pint and a white wine? No, I said I'll get it. Dad, can you just let Kellen get the drinks? Have a white wine for me, my mum, please. Who <sighs> carries that kind of cash? People with money. We just have a nice drink together. Oh, I've been saying that all night. <laughs> mum can speak Portuguese. Oh, well, that'll come in handy round here. Yeah, well, maybe not round here, but they're speaking lots of other places, like Brazil. <laughs> Yeah, they speak Brazilian in Brazil. Even I know that. So what exactly do you do, Cal? Uh, security. And Jen, you could be a bit more specific. Oh, Dad, give him a break. Hmm. Sounds like you're asking me what my prospects are. Yeah, I've been watching too much Downton. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, the concept of a decent day's pay for a decent day's work doesn't ring any bells, eh, Cal? Dad, stop having a go. It's only asking Callum what he does for a living. Oh! He's a drug dealer. You are? Drug dealer? Had it from the horse's mouth. Well, Kylie's, but you know what I mean. Yeah, been to prison and all. Well, I suppose it all makes for a very colourful CV. Have a good night. Is this true? Well, he works in security. You don't have to explain yourself. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, right. Box to wear whiter than white. How many times has Gary been up in court? Oh, yeah. Now, you listen to no, me. No, you listen to me. Me and Callum are together, right? He's bought all the drinks all night and gets nothing but abuse. Oh, we're going. See ya. Where are you going? Home. Because as daft as I am, I thought we could have a really nice evening together. I shouldn't have come. No, you shouldn't have done, but it makes no difference because he'll ruin things all by himself Anna. anyway. Anna. Anna. Yeah, you probably did.
but not enough. It was more complicated than that. And you know it. My love. You didn't say we had company. I'm just going. Oh, don't leave on my account. Oh, believe me. It's sooner I didn't play Gooseberry. Bye. Normal service? I don't want to sit down. I want to know why that woman was here and why you lied about I her. I didn't lie to you. Well, let's face it, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? We were talking, that's all. Really, talking. Sweet nothings, was it? Huh. Don't laugh at me. Anna, sweetheart, I'm not. I'm laughing at the thought of me whispering sweet nothings to anyone else but you. Yeah, well, you say that, but she was the love of your life, your words. What do you want me to say? Hey? Yes, I loved her. Yes, she broke my arm. But that was another life. You have children together. What are you saying here? That you love Gary's dad more than you love me? Because that's the logic well, of I it. Well, I haven't been having cosy little chats with my Anna. ex. Anna! Why didn't you tell me she was here? I didn't want to worry you. Worry me about what? She's asked me to go back to Portugal with her. Oh, I knew it. That's what this has all been about. She just wants to take you away from me. I'm not going anywhere. OK? There's only one place I want to be, and that is here with you. <laughs> is everything OK? Yeah. I'm going to over. Both fast asleep. Good. I feel the right state. Yeah, you look fine to me. I mean, who'd blame you if you had your head turned? You know, look at me. I'm looking. Mm, sit down. Linda did not turn my head, OK? Not even for a second. You have no idea how beautiful you are, do you? Now listen to me. And that's my fault. I should tell you. Every day. Because believe me, love, there's not a day goes by when I don't thank my lucky stars that you decided to take a chance on a bloke like me. I love you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Andy came in. Hey, and the best thing was, I didn't even know it had gone. <laughs> Men, eh, honestly. <laughs> Linda! He's told you, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, he's told me. Listen, I, uh, well, I just want to say I hope you have a good trip back. I know it's going to be hard going back to Portugal alone, you know, when you was hoping that things were going to be different. I'm still hoping. You've had the answer. Let's just leave it like that, shall we? I'm not talking about you, Owen. I'm talking about our girls. What about them? I don't want to miss any more of their lives. I'm going to ask Izzy and Katie to come back with me. <laughs> Look, maybe it's just what Michael said. She got cold feet. I'm... Any news? Yeah, I just saw Linda. She's taking the girls out for lunch. Oh, she doesn't waste much time, does she? Oh, well. You know, we're just going to have to sit tight and see what they decide. And as I talk to them... I say what? About the only reason she wants them to go is to get one over on me for knocking her back. Oh, you see, that's you all over. You just go steaming in without thinking. No, I've been thinking about nothing else since yesterday, love. Yes, but after how you've lied to them, anything you say now is just going to make them more likely to go. If only to spite you. We've got to just stay out of it and hope they see sense. Oh, so thanks for coming at short notice. It's okay to... Yeah. And you won't be going to Portugal, either of you, so it's good news all round. Yeah, we can start thinking about Faye's birthday on Friday. I thought she could have a surprise party. Thirteen, eh? God, it takes me back. You all right, Katie? What is it, love? Right, well, um... There's no really easy way to say this, but, um... I'm gonna go and live with my mum in Portugal. I thought you decided against. Yeah, I had, but after today, I'm not really sure there's much for me around here. Well, there's me for a start. It's not as if I'm never going to see you. No, but you'll be over a thousand miles away. You're not exactly going to be dropping by for a natter, are you? 
This is on the rebound from Callum. You need to let all that settle before you go making big decisions. I don't want to wait. I want to go now. What else have you said to her? Nothing I didn't say this lunchtime. Right, so this is about me. That's why you're going? Yeah. Yeah, a bit, if I'm honest. Things haven't been the same since I found out about Mum. All that time I could have spent with her and I didn't. Well, at least sleep on it. And what about Chesney? What are you going to say to him? That's the only problem. I've got absolutely no idea. All I'd be answered to, lights out. Surprise! Yes, of course we are. Surprise parties make me cringe. Like people proposing at football matches. <gasps> hey, if Katie actually jets off to Portugal, this could be the last time we're all together for a bit. Nah, you know what Katie's like. Changes her mind what she wants for dinner while she's eating it. Oh, anyone would think you had nought to do with her wanting to leave the country. All right. No, no way, not today. It's Faye's birthday. The least I can do is give her an happy family. Mm. Just hope she appreciates me bursting blood vessels to blow up balloons for. Her. 13, I honestly. She's still a little girl, really, you know. She's not like some of them all belly tops and fake tan. She's gonna love it. Mm. Hey! Yeah. Right, I'm off to work. I'll see you later. See you later, darling. We were just talking about you. Yeah, I can imagine. Come to your senses, yeah? I haven't slept all night, thinking about how amazing it's going to be. Katie. Dad, please. I know it's not what you want to hear, but I'm going. And I'm telling Chaz today. <laughs> See. Come on, quick, quick, quick. You're such a vibe killer. I told you I hate surprise parties. Yeah, it's not Shh. you getting surprised, is it? It's worse. Nothing for you to worry about. Happy birthday. Fell off his ladder at work, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Fighting off an attacker. A burglar. Are you going to open your present? Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you catch him? Uh, it. It was a spider. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get attacked by a spider? Was it poisonous? Yeah, it was massive. I didn't know you were scared of spiders. I'm not. Yeah, all right, all right. Lay off him. He's had a terrible fright. Come on, you two. Come and get some food. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. No. I thought I saw, saw something there. Where's the spider? Sorry, I thought you were coming. I could just change the subject. Hey, don't think you can start sneaking any boyfriends in, because I'm in a prime lookout position here. Oh, look, you're embarrassed her now. Remember how awkward you feel at that age? Awkward? I was engaged at 13. Well, it only lasted six weeks until she ran off with some French dude with a Benetton rucksack. Faye, <laughs> you all right? I like you're going to throw up. I told him not everyone likes surprise parties. I wanted to invite some of your mates, but Mum said you prefer just us a lot. No. It's perfect. Your mum can be quite scary. She forced me to keep my mouth shut. Don't worry about it. Doesn't look like Faye's having much fun. So we should go. No, she loves a good party being centre of attention. Mm. Yep. <laughs> See? Dad's bought me since we got here. And you're surprised? It's not just about me and him, though, is it? I'll be taking his grandson away. Jeez. This is how bad he's taking it. How do you reckon Chess is going to react? What do you think he's going to say? Over my dead body. Then what happens? Come on, you grown-up teenager. You love this song. Craig will dance with you, won't you, mate? It's OK. Come on, cos my moves are out of action. You've got no competition. I've got to go. Go where? <laughs> to get my MP3 from Craig's. And before you do yourself another injury. Oh, well, you're right, Gary. The party's a flop. Mm. Oh, no, he's going. Oh, come on, you lot. Call us a party. Burns. He's got a string of pubs now. But is he happy? Do as the honours, will you, kid? Oh, come on, Super Dad. Don't you think you better go and fetch birthday girl? I never know when I've gone to a lot of trouble here. Well, not that much trouble. No, we don't want to be heavy with her on her birthday, though, do we? Is this true? You move into Portugal? Because if you think you're taking my son with you, think again. His mate Matty rang from Leeds. If you leave it with me, I'll make sure that she gets it. Listen, thanks for coming, you two. Yeah, no worries, and uh, thanks for the drink. Thanks for the sausage rolls. Yeah, come on. Anyway, you'll be wanting to go as well, won't you, Tim? Will I? Yeah. Come on. Oh, have you put your moments? Sorry. What have you been doing? Downloading stuff? No. Well, we've given up on you. Well, anyway, your guests are just going, so I'll speak to you later. Yeah. I didn't come to drink. Just remember, it's still Faye's birthday, yeah? I was gonna come and see you as soon as this was over. Ask Gary. Ask anyone. They all know, then. 
You've not discussed it with me, but the rest of the street have had the law down. Look, maybe you two should take this next door. Well, maybe we should get going. Oh, we could take the boys. Yeah, I'll go and get them. No, don't bother. It's not happening. I'm sorry that you've had to hear this second hand. Have you ever been to Portugal? Just listen! Do you even speak a word of Portuguese, apart from peri-peri chicken? It'll be a better life for both of us. With Linda? You've not clapped eyes on her for 18 years, and now you want to turn all of our lives upside down on her say-so. No, no, my say-so. She walked out on you without a backward glance. Yeah, you don't know the facts. I know that you couldn't stand her till a week ago, and now she's filled your head with all this big talk, and you've fallen for it. It's not talk. It's a lovely house. An outdoor life. You know, kids aren't sat hunched over computer games. They're out at the beach, running around the square. And it's a small town. Joseph would be safe. And with family. You're not family. She's got a birth certificate that says so. And she says so. Look, I know it's been a bit tough for you lately. So you thought you'd kick me while I'm down? Were you going to wait till I was at the hospital? Try sneaking through passport control? No. She might be a pushover, but I'm not. Joseph's place... Joseph's family is here. End of. You know, until you turned up there again, I'm just fine. All you saw was the bullet. I've got to two. Can I phone you? Yeah. Can't guarantee I'll answer. Oh, no, I, I will. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> Listen, don't be so hard on your dad. We both let you down. But we both love you. Right, I'll uh, just put these in the boot. Oh, here she is. Hey. Are you OK? Look at you. Yeah, I'm fine. I've just, uh, I've just been cleaning at the gym and the chemicals in sting my eyes a bit, so... Really, I'm fine. Oh, come here. <laughs> you know, you're welcome to visit any time. Any time at all. Time to fight again? Oh, don't worry, I'm going. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. Just to see the two of you again. Oh, look, I'm sorry, I'll go. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Very soon. I've got a bit of time. Anyone fancy a quick drink in the Rovers, my treat? I've got stuff to do. Yeah, me too. I've got to go back to work. Oh, I know. I'll ring tomorrow. Well, maybe if you explain... What are you two whispering about? Oh, time to mind his own business. Mind your own business? If you must know, I had an exam and I didn't go. You what? I forgot. How can you forget something that important? Oh, she just forgot, all right. What's with all the questions? Well, excuse me for taking an interest. Owen. What is it with you? Why can't you just leave? Is it? it? It's fine. I forgot because I've got so much other stuff on my mind, all right? But I need to get Josie for Oh, no, I thought you were going to stay for your tea. Look, Anna, it's fine. I'm not hungry anyway. Hello? Hey, it's me. Uh, OK. It's Chez. You'll be able to sit your exam again, though, won't uh, you? Yeah, I think so. All right. Daddy! All right. There's something that I need to say. I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, I think you should go to Portugal. Wow. I've thought about it. I've thought about what's right. And what's best for you and for Joseph? Hang on, how can it be best for a kid to grow up without one of his parents? Uh, I don't think we want to go there, do you? I can see now it was all about me. What I wanted. I suppose I was worried that he'd forget me. Well, he wouldn't love me. You know, I would never let that happen, Chess. People like us, we don't get too many chances to make a better life for ourselves. Look, she can have a good life around here, OK, amongst people who love her. Yeah. Look, who, hang on, who love Joseph. All right, Owen, let him have his say. But what's happened to Sinead? Well, it's, it's made me realise you've got to take every opportunity, cos you never know what's around the corner. If 
you're going to Portugal, you know, is what you want. And you should go. I'm not going to stand in your way. With Joseph? Yeah. With Joseph. You have to be sure about this, Chess. I can't believe you'd do this for me. I'm doing it for both of you. What an adventure, eh? Thank you. And you know you can come and see him and we can come back here and... I know. You're making a big mistake, Barry. They're making a decision just because it's one you don't agree with. Night, mate. Chess, do you want him to come and stay with you tonight? Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, of course. Well, I've got to go to the hospital first. All right, we'll just pick him up on your way back then. Honestly. No, 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 this fine is good. So, do I pick the tickets up from the airport then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, then, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, I didn't realise you'd be going so soon. Don't see any reason not to, really. Of course not. Well, nice to know we're not enough reason to hang around. Next week or next month, it's not going to make it any easier, is it? No, but the point is, you don't have to go at all. No, Dad, I do. Because if I don't, I will always regret it. I know it's going to be hard. Trust me, it's going to be hard for me as well, leaving you in, is it? Of course it is. I'll always be grateful, Anna, for you taking me in as one as your own. I just want to get to know my real mum, that's all. Real mum? You know, that woman coming back into our lives is the worst thing that could have happened to our family. Well, maybe if she was allowed to come back sooner, I wouldn't be flying off to Portugal, would I? Katie, I'm asking you. Please don't go. I have to. She's going. And your grandson's going. And you've got no one to blame but yourself. Hey, I'll drop you over, my friend. No, Tara. Uh, I'll see you two tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, all right. Is he wait? Oh, we'll meet you back soon. How long are you going to keep me in the doghouse? I just want things to be the way they were between us. Oh, you mean before Mum ruined everything by telling us the truth? Izzy, I can't keep saying I'm sorry. Then don't. Look, I'm glad that you've made up with Katie. Really, I am, but it's just too soon for me. That's all. Fair enough. Well, if you forget out, can always bring it in the post. Yeah, I'll bring it out when we come and visit you. Yeah, that'd be nice. I've got to go to work. I'll uh, see you before I go, though. OK. Put your money away. This is supposed to be my treat. No, well, thanks. Cheers, Anna. Thanks. See you later, darling. I'll tell you what, it'd be a lot quieter around here without you and Joseph. Mm. I'm sure you've got Jake keeping you busy, though. Yeah. That's if he could stand being in the room with me for more than five minutes. Um, I'm, I'm going to get off. I've still got a shed load to do before I pick Joseph up, so... Anything I can do to help? Um, no. I'm fine. Well, thanks. See you down here. You OK? It feels like I'm losing two daughters. But do you know what? Izzy's hurt. She's confused. Give her time. She'll get over it. When, though? Well, I don't know, Owen. That's up to her, innit? I wasn't sure myself. Come on then, big man. Oh. How much do I love you? Bigger. Bigger. Oh. That's right. If you ever need anything, just call and I'll be there, okay? Okay, Daddy. Look after him, yeah? And yourself. Yeah, I will. Right. I suppose this is it then? I suppose it is. Oh, give us a call, won't you? Ring us when you get there safe, yeah? Yeah, I will. Just you remember. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, you can always come back. I'll think about that one, yeah? Well, look, I just wanted to say, I know I've hurt you. And if I could change what I did, you know I do it in a heartbeat, but... Do you know what? As useless as I am, I look at you and your sister, and I know I must have done something right. Yeah? 
I am so, so proud of you. And I love you. I love you too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, we better get going then, Joseph. Yeah? Come on. <laughs> Need to make a stop on the way, please. It's such a yeah, shame. safe journey, love. Same to you both. Th thanks for ringing. Bye, love. Bye. Is it Kate? Yeah, they're just about to board now. Do you know, for a minute, I thought. What, that she changed her mind? Mm. Well, at least you rang. <laughs> come here, you. <laughs> no, 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 come here, I want to say thank you. Do you know, you are my little silver lining, you are. You're always trying to find the best in people. I don't. Yes, you do. I'm all right, Cal. Yeah, only sometimes. <laughs> We've had one hell of a year, and you've been overlooked more than you deserve. That's going to change from now on, isn't it, Anna? Suits me. From this moment on, you don't have to share us with anyone. You, Mrs. are going to get our full undivided attention. You've got that. <gasps> another day, another dollar. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to slave for a living? Yeah, well, that's God's punishment, that is. God's punishment. Yeah, for Adam and Eve eating that apple. He said that men will have to work for a living and women will have pain in childbirth. Uh, what do you know about stuff like that? You don't even go to church. Ah, oh, they did at school in RE. Remember the days when they actually used to teach kids stuff? Well, no, not really coming handy, won't it? Yeah, well, trust men to get it easier. Why? Uh, because women have pain in childbirth and they have to work. Yeah, well, you must have done something to deserve that. Oh, hang on. Hello? You all right, sweetheart? Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Look a little bit peaky to me. No, I'm fine. Well, let me feel your forehead. Now's your chance to bunk off, eh? April Fool's Day, don't forget. Oh, shut up, you. Don't put ideas in her head. You know, you feel a bit clammy. I've told you I'm fine. Well, that's, that's, that's brilliant. Yeah, thanks, Eric. All right, well, I'll, um, I'll speak to you soon, yeah? Great, OK, bye. I got it. What? That job. I start Tuesday. No. That's great news. I can't believe it. I mean, it's only a few days a week, but... Good money. Absolutely. No need to worry about the bills for a while. We'd even think about visiting Katie. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Maybe I looks about to change it last, eh? Yeah, it couldn't be any worse, could it? Yeah. Hiya. I've, uh, I've gone mad and bought us some wine. Yeah. Hope you like it. <sighs> yeah, it's, um... It's just you and me, after all, for the meal, so... Really? Excuse me. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, um... Gary's gone out with Alia and Faith, she kept pestering to go to Craig, so... Well, I'm not pointing forcing to go, she just want to be here. Yeah, that's what I thought. So. Good. It's <laughs> ages since we did something like this, isn't it? Yeah, well... Time hasn't been right, has it? No. You know, with everything that's happened. Hmm. Yeah, let's make a toast. Oh. <clears throat> to, um, to the detached house in Cheshire. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-mm. All right, then, the, um, the three-bedroom end of terrace near a good school. Ooh, be careful, because you might jinx us. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's the <a> word. <laughs> Cheers. You look nice, love. No, you always look nice, but tonight... Eat your dinner. You should learn how to take a compliment, you know. All right, then, thank you. <clears throat> Listen, I, I thought that after this, um... Mm. We, could, we could go and have a drink in the Rovers, if you like. 
a week. We could make the most of having the place to ourselves. I mean, it's not every day we get the opportunity, is it? Let's go for a drink this time, eh, shall we? Mm. <laughs> right, finish that and then we'll uh, wish you off, yeah? No, chill out. Like you said, Faye's fine. And anyway, the world's not going to end if we have one cheeky drink, is it? I know, but... And anyway, I don't know if I fancy a packet of pork scratchings or not, so... So much for tea at the bistro. I feel like I'm on a pub ah! crawl. You went up to that flat when you did, or who knows what would have happened. Do you know, do you know you're light and boy. You're always thinking of us before you sleep. Has the baby not come yet? You've got a lot to answer to, you have. Don't complain me now, Craig. He's done nothing wrong. Why didn't you let home? We're supposed to be mates, me and you. Oh, I not to tell anyone. You know, it can be really dangerous having a baby without medical supervision. Did you not stop to think about that? You're scaring him now. Please tell me that you've got nothing to do with this. Oh, just leave him alone. She's underage. Please are going to be all over this. It wasn't me. If he says it wasn't him, it wasn't him. End of. Craig! Tim. Tim. Stop tapping. Oh, I'll tell you something. Your lives are never going to be the same again. I mean, what are you going to do? You've got nothing. Baby grows, nappies, and the price of everything. We'll all have to pitch in, won't we? Yeah, at least I've got a job or something. No, where's the poor little thing going to sleep? My mum put me in a drawer. <sighs> she shouldn't be much longer now. I can't believe it. She's so immature. She's still got teddies on her bed at home. What's wrong with me? Why didn't I spot it? Love, not understand. Well, don't blame yourself. Why couldn't she tell me? All right, I'd better get back in there, OK? Oh, is she? Well, she's barely even looked at the baby. Well, she's still in shock, isn't she? Yeah, we are. Emily called by. She brought this from the charity shop. Mm, she's so kind. You OK? <laughs> I'm going to have to be, aren't I? Well, it'll be all right. We'll all rally around and do what we can. Poor Faye. Life's never going to be the same again. She's still not said anything. Well, she's going to have to sing all this, you know. don't know the oh. half of it, Owen. As far as I'm concerned, she's never even had a boyfriend. Yeah, well, I think it's Craig, always hanging about. Well, we don't know that, do we, mate? It could be anyone. You know, that's what's worrying me. I mean, what if it is somebody, you know, that's, like, taken advantage of her, an older lad or something? Yeah, let's not get carried away, OK? Whatever's gone on, the police will get to the bottom of it. It's lovely, that balloon, that. So it should be, if we all this pocket money on it. Thought he might cheer her up. Yeah. I believe the baby needs so much stuff. Yeah, mad, eh? Oh, hey, it's great for practising your head is on. Go on, have a go. Behave yourself! You nearly nutted me! Oh, wait. <laughs> I like the smell right off his Always. Oh, oh, wait, think it's all one big joke, do you? Hey? Ah, hey. Get hey. 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 Back up! It wasn't me! Who was he? Hey, tell me the truth. Make oh, hey. oh, hey. oh, hey. I'll beat you out of here! Get off me! Done. Do you want to hit me at all? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What's going on? Faith, get the baby and get inside now. I've not done anything. Oh, yeah, a likely story. Hey, do you have to buy tickets for this, like, or can anybody watch? Oh, do one, Tracy. Yeah, do one, Tracy. No, stay. I want witnesses. Eat it, Kirky. Uh, Kirk, deck him back. We all know it was you that knocked it off. I never. Owen, come on now. Why? He took advantage of her, and now he's going to regret it. Oh, shut your stupid oh, wait. face. My son did not get your daughter pregnant! Were you there? Oh, will you stop it? It wasn't Craig. You what? Craig's just my mate. And he's been nicer to me than you all ever be. Now do you believe me? You haven't heard the last of this. I'll just leave it, Ben. Idiot! That balloon cost me £4.99. What? 
We're ripped off, mate. Splattered. Gary, will you go and sit with Faye and the baby? What? She's crying her eyes out through there. Okay. Anyway, I need a word with Mike Tyson here. <laughs> Proper little cock of the walk, aren't you? You thought Craig was the dad as well. No, you didn't see me kick off about it, did you? You knew I didn't want Faye to have any more stress. I said she needs peace and quiet and calm. She's never going to tell us who the dad is if you keep kicking off. She'll tell us. You'll have to. What if it is something that she didn't want? I mean, I know she said it's a boy from school, but what if he did force himself on her? I've told you we'll find out. Well, I want you to go around there and apologise. To who? Kirk? You hit him, Owen. Yeah, with good reason. No, with no reason. You heard what Faye said. OK, Craig might not be the dad, but he still should have flaming well told if he knew. She's a bit calmer. Well done, Owen. Oh, yeah, everything's my fault. Funny, that, isn't it? Where are you going? Here's a clue, not Kirk's. Just keep oh, your head... You did. Jackson! Yeah, he's a boy in her school. Yeah, I really wonder up about him as well. Why couldn't you tell me? Am I that much of a monster? No, you've got to stop thinking of that, love. That way madness lies. Come on, have some chips. All right, and that's going to make it better, is it? Are you going to see his mum tomorrow, then? Yeah, I called her. Didn't say what it was about. <sighs> well, I'll make sure I'm here, then. Oh, yup, that's not her. Look, whoever it is, tell him to go away. I can't be doing with visitors. Hello? From now on, I don't let Faye down. I'm going to make up for anything that's gone wrong. Who is he? Uh, yeah, 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 come up. From here on, you know, this this is all good. It's the police. What? Well, I couldn't say no, could I? Hello, open the door. Right. Evening. Right, if you come about fair, you're a bit late. She's in bed and there's no way I'm getting her up after everything she's been through. Owen Armstrong. Yeah? Owen Armstrong, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. You do not have to say anything, but it might harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Mm. I think her nappy needs changing. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> she, she was very cute. Ooh. The going gets tough, eh? Shall I take it off? Have you been charged? Cautioned. Only after they'd invited me for a sleepover. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Can't believe you behave like that. No, I know. Let's bang out of order and I'm really sorry. Well, you can't say further than that. I'd sulk for days before Sally got an apology out of me. Where's Faye? Asleep. Lucky thing. Right, I think I'll get under the shower. You're not going to work? No, nah, I'm up to it. You would have just got the job. You'll lose a day's pay. Well, I thought I might help you and Faye. Well, I don't want your help. Jackson's family coming over later. Last thing I need is you here chipping in your two penneth. Yeah, but I'm... Uh, I'm the stepdad. You, you can't... I want to be here. Look, I don't want you here. The place needs cleaning anyway. Well, I'll help you tidy. No. She's too young to smile. It's probably just wind. So what do you know about the Hodges, then? Um, well, they're called Greg and Josie, and they live on the Darwin estate. Well, that's on my round. What road? The Sycamore. Oh, nice. It's not as nice as round here, though. I was on there the other week looking through one of the windows. I saw a couple of pugs. They were watching loose women mesmerised. I bet they've no idea what their son's been up to, eh? So what does Faye think about his parents coming round? Well... She'd sooner I never got in touch, but, you know, there's been enough lies. Anyway, we're the adults, so we've got to deal with it like adults. Like your family, you mean? I'm worried about too, you know, love. All right, if you want to help, you can take Faye and the baby out. I can deal with the Hodges. Oh, OK. Anyway, we'll rally you. What a lovely family they were. I thought they'd be understanding I was wrong. They just took one look at this place. Yeah, one look at us. They couldn't get out fast enough, could they? And how could he just sit there and lie? He's a lad. I was the same at his age. First sign of trouble, zippy. He used to swear blind to me mother that I was nowhere near the purse. I always seem to get found out in the end. His parents are so gullible, especially the mother. Yep. Back for round two. Oh, everything's a fight with you, isn't it? Hello? It's Craig. Let him in. Don't be horrible. I won't. Well, he's probably frightened to come up. All right, mate. Listen, um... I owe you an apology. I was well out of order. 
Especially as now I've seen the real culprit. It's okay. How are you? I'm tired. Can I see her? Can Grey come sit in my room? Yeah. Jackson and his parents came round. Really? So what happened? He denied it. What? We can't drop this. Let him run away from his responsibilities. Leave what it. What are we going to do, Anna? Hey? Is she going to bring it up on her own? She won't be on her own. No, I'm... I'm just saying that there are... There are other alternatives. Like what? This could ruin her life. I'm just saying there are... There are, there are other options, you know? Like what? Like, I don't know. She could give the baby up. Oh, forget it. And I'm just... I said forget it. She can cope. She's got us to help her. I can't believe you even say something like that. Hey, yeah, love. Uh, You've not been there all night, have you? Uh, um, she woke about four, but I managed to get her settled. I thought I'd hang around just in case. Well, you should have woken me up, I'd have done it. Yeah, well, there's no point in the both of us suffering, is there? I mean it. Next time you wake me, OK? OK. Where's mine? In the park. Oh, go on, make him one. It wasn't like he got much sleep either, was it? Not with me doing circuits around the couch. And before you say out, I did offer. Right. I'm going to get a shower, try and wake myself up a bit. You, get that bed in shifted. I don't want the social worker seeing it. And if she asks, you don't actually live here, OK? You just stop over sometimes. So where do I live? At Izzy's. So what I think the place isn't big enough. She's looking really well. Oh, yeah, she's thriving. <laughs> Have you picked a name for her yet? No. Well, there's so many to choose from, aren't there? Yeah. And uh, how are you getting on with looking after her? Well, I've taught her how to bath her and change her nappies and everything. Might be a bit rusty, but it's amazing how quickly I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, let that face speak for itself, I love. I'm doing all right. Mum's great. She helps loads. That's good. Must be difficult, though, when you're so young yourself. Especially when you weren't expecting it. Well, you know, she's a bright girl, aren't you? You should pick it up. Oh, I'm sure. But I just want to know how Faye feels about it. Fine, yeah. I mean, it's all sort of new and a bit scary, but I'm sure we'll get used to it. Yeah, of course you will. And how do you feel about the baby herself? I love her. Everyone loves babies, don't they? No, I'm fine. It's a lot to take on, though, especially when you're working. How are you going to manage? Well, I'm going to have to give up work. I mean, at some point, Faye's going to need to go back to school, so I'll have to be at home full time. What will you do for money? Well, Owen's working. Yeah, and I'm going to um, help out a bit. I'll be chipping in, too. So, you see, it's a real family effort. We all want this to work out. Yeah, but this isn't about what we want, is it, love? It's, it's about what Faye wants. This is what Faye wants, she's just said. Yeah, but I think she's saying what she thinks we want to hear. You know, are you, darling? Faye. You can be honest with us. No one's going to judge you. This is the rest of your life we're talking about, Faye. Is it what you want? Do you want to bring this baby up yourself? I can't. I want it to go to someone else. I just want everything to go back to normal. You know we'd help you. Just listen to me, will you? I am. I understand. It's a big shock now she's here, crying, needing attention. Most young mums find it tough at first. I don't want it. Oh, Carol's right, sweetheart. You might change your mind. I won't. It's OK, love. She's clearly upset, love. She's hardly slept. Don't worry, this is just a first visit. No one's asking you to decide today. Exactly. Yeah, remember that, you know, she's got a big family and we're all rallying around her, so... But obviously what Faye wants is most important, yeah? We're trying to help her make the right decision. And we will. Don't worry. Dare you undermine me like that. 
the one thing I asked you to do. And what's the good of lying? She needs to know the truth. No, what she needs to see is that this baby has a stable home and a family that wants him. Yeah, but Faye doesn't. She's in shock. She doesn't know what she wants. Which is why we need to listen to her, not, not railroad her into a decision. No, what that girl needs is adults guiding her, helping her make the right one. Oh, yeah, the right one for who? Hey? I'm not letting that baby go into care. Oh, adoption does not mean care, love. Faye got passed from pillar to post. I'm not putting a daughter through that and all. Oh, yeah, and is her daughter's life more important than Faye's? What's that supposed to mean? Well, say she keeps it. What's going to happen to her schooling, eh? Her GCSE is her future. Do you want to saddle her with a kid at 13? Of course not! I wish she'd never got pregnant in the first place, but now there's a baby and it needs its mother. And before you interrupt, don't think that Faye could just give the baby up and be done with it. She'd be forever wondering what had happened to it. She'd be tortured with guilt. It would destroy her. Or maybe not. <sighs> just because you don't feel guilt where your daughters are concerned. You're not thinking about what's best for Faye. I am thinking entirely what's best for Faye. It's you that's not. I'm the only one that's listening to her. <sighs> You just don't want a baby around. You want an easy life. <laughs> that might have happens in this family. And whose fault's that? Is that one of them, Kalesh? I don't see how you can blame all this on me. I am not the one that got pregnant. Yeah, well, I was so busy dealing with you and Izzy and flaming Linda. I took me eye off the ball when Faye needed me. No one could have seen this coming. I should have known oh, something was wrong. No, please, don't start that again. No, she should have been able to tell me. If she felt she couldn't tell you, then that is your fault, not mine. Well, all right, then. We're both at oh, fault. Finally. But you had to go and make things worse like you always do. Hey? Every time I think we're getting on our feet, you manage to mess it up again. Let's talk about Gary, shall we? Hey, I know. Gary's had his moments. Yeah, his temper is the reason we're living in his pokey flat, the reason I lost my business and all our money. Yeah, right. You played a pretty big he part in that Lizzie. yourself. He robbed from the cafe and yet still you defend him. Because he's my son. He's a liability and if I had it my way... What? You'd farm him out for adoption instead of sticking by him? All I've ever done is stick by this family. You make it sound like it's a chore. It's not been easy. Won't you beg her off then? Sometimes I wonder. Well, go on then. Shove off to Portugal with a woman you really love. Yeah, well, now you're being ridiculous. Mama. I'm not talking to you when you're being like this. God! God! What in there? Don't have any feelings for Linda. Oh, for God's sake. You lied to me about her. What was I supposed to say? That she broke my heart, that I was a mess? It was a long time ago. I'm OK about you, with your past, with Eddie. Eddie? didn't walk back into our lives and prove I'd lied to me kids for nearly 20 years and me since the day we met. How can I trust you after that? How can I believe anything you're ever going to say again? You've lied to me too. What have I ever lied to you about? You know, sometimes I still think about you with him. Can't help it. And in the image, do you see the contract on the table? The one I had to focus on every disgusting minute of that ordeal. The one I put myself through for you. No, of course you don't. You just see me in bed with another man, don't you? You've never forgiven me. Not really. I still love you. <laughs> I'm not sure I still love you. I can't believe you mean that. After everything we've been through. You used to make me feel safe. Because I had money. Is that what you think of me? A property, business. This isn't about money. <laughs> How do you think I felt this past year, eh? Watching you scrimp and save, going to the food banks, taking on cleaning jobs, because I can't provide for you, and it has killed me. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about trust. Oh, I can't no, trust no, you, no, Owen. No, no, no. I spend more time worrying about you, what you're going to do, how you're going to react, than anything else. Look, I'm exhausted by it. Love, I know it's been tough, but we're on the up now. I've got this new job. I don't know who you are anymore. I'm the same person I've always been, love. Well, maybe I'm just seeing that person now for the first time. The type of person that makes me feel anxious to be around. I'm sorry, but that's how you make me feel. No, you're right. I... I have made things worse for you, love. I've got angry, I've acted rashly, and... 
and I've not been honest with you, but I, I promise from, from now on, listen, from, from now on, about the baby, OK? I'll do whatever you want. I'll support whatever you think is it's best. It's too late. What are you saying here? I think... I think I'm saying... It's over. What can I say? Nothing. It's all been said. This is what you want. I love you. I love you with all my heart and soul. No, I meant to do this weeks ago. You don't need a banging waking you up. Yeah, well, I'd have had to have been asleep for that. Ah. Yeah, it's done now. Um, some things there you might need. Your razor, your flannel. Yeah. Some of that hand cream. Please use it. I don't want you getting eczema again. Um, your comb. Oh, I always thought you still care. Don't, Owen. I know we just need to keep talking, that's oh. all. Two o'clock this morning, and I lay there, my head full of... I, I don't know, everything. How oh, I got it all wrong. How's my child and mother? How we'll cope? Better together. And amongst all these, the memories of you. You going AWOL, getting things wrong when it matters no, most. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, the please, other day, no. yes. The other day, going on and on at me. Listen to Faye, listen to Faye. Like I'm the big bad wolf not listening to my own daughter. But she needs time. Needs time to change her mind. Panic, change it back again. Swing from one decision to yeah, the next. Yeah, I only wanted to no, see her. Oh, I know. What? I know you're trying to do right by her. But Owen, oh, I'm trying to do right by her. On my life, I am. I know. You just stood there feeling so selfish. Mean and selfish, like I didn't care. No, if you love, if you just let me, no, I swear, no, I swear, no. I will try. I... No, just Anna. No, I've got no. I've got just, I've got no space. I've got no space, no energy. Not for you, as well as me, and Faye and the baby. You. You're just tired. No. Oh, let me watch the baby in Faye if she gets up. Go and go and put your head down for an hour. No. No, no strings. Owen. Oh, no I... strings. Okay, I just 
I think that they need you to be thinking straight, okay? Look at the, look at the state of you, love. Hey? Go on. Go and lie down. I'll, I'll... Go on. For her, yeah, for Faye. Teasing you. She only wanted a feed, she's gone back down again now. She was awake all night. Yeah. Oh. Where were you? Kevin's. Are you and Mum splitting up? No, we're uh, trying to work out what to do. What does that mean? Do you know, love, I don't know. It's all my fault. I should have told the social worker everything was fine. Uh, you're allowed to say what you want. I want things back how they was. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can't change what's happened. If we give the baby away, we can. Listen, you... You can't decide what happens to the baby based on what's going to happen to me and Anna, you know? You've got some big decisions to make, and like your mum says, you can't rush them. I don't want you to split up. Me neither. So it's mum, then? I didn't say that. Please sort it out. I'm trying. Try harder. If I can find a way through, I will, OK? Promise. I promise. Right, I'm up now. Um, time for stopping, but you best get off now. Right, I can just finish up. No, now. You, Bath. Come on, just because we've got a baby to look after, don't mean to say you stop looking after yourself. But now, come on, Bath, I'll get you a towel. Hey, Nick. Uh. Oi, here. There you go. The next stop was going to be Kevin's. No, I forgot. I was, was going to nip yeah, back. You just can't see it, can you? How'd you always stamp in with your flaming size 13s and make everything worse? What's he done now? Oh, go and have a sleep, Anna. Trust me, Anna. And then he goes making promises that aren't his to make to Faye. I, I only said to... I heard that you're trying to sort things between us, but yeah. what did I say? That it's over. Mm. And still you go making promises. It's me that's got to pick the pieces up. I just didn't want to get more upset. Don't talk to her. She's finding it all confusing enough as it is. Unbelievable. Shell, um, listen, uh, I know this sounds cheeky because I've left you in the lurch and everything, but I couldn't have my wages, what I owed, please. Listen, whenever you're ready to come back, just let us know, all right? How's Faye? Oh, yeah, don't worry. I haven't left him alone, so I can come in here and get hammered. Gary's with him. So we can talk? Uh, look, the last thing either of us needs is more talking, Owen. Oh, um, thanks, Michelle. You look like a white wine would go down well. And not in here, in the back. I'm going to get Steve to cover. And before you argue, you've just said that Gary's babysitting. OK. Right? Look, I know you think I didn't listen when you said we were finished. You're making it sound like I just woke up and decided to chuck you out. I did listen. And I'm doing what you wanted. I'm going. Going where? Portugal. I've not spoken to... What? I, I knew it. I knew you'd go back to her. The love of your life, not, Linda. I'm going because you asked. I'm leaving you alone. I'm not going to her. You think I'm jealous? Because this is what I'm trying to say. I'm not jealous. You're free to go wherever you like. Yeah, but I don't want to be free. I'm going to go and see Katie and Joseph for a couple of weeks to give us both some space, OK? So, so we can think clearly. Give us time. Listen to me. Think. Give us time to think clearly, love. Are you doing it again? What? I don't need any more time. Not for thinking, not for talking. My mind's made up. If you're going to go away for a fortnight and I'll change my mind, I won't. If you've got any respect for me... You know I have. ...then will you just please listen to what I say? I'm not going to change my mind. This is it. Please don't look at me like that. 
Like what? Like you wish I got the message, like you wish I wasn't here. Well, I don't know why you've come. There's nothing left to say. I'm not coming back. I've been speaking to my mate in Aberdeen. He's offered me some work when I get back from Portugal. How long for? As long as I want. Right, and you're going just like that? That's what you wanted. For you to move hundreds of miles away? Give me a reason to stay and I will. Bye, Anna. Well, what about Faye? You told me to leave. Me? Not a terrified 13-year-old girl. As usual, Owen makes a decision and everybody else has to deal with the fallout. Me? Well, that's hardly fair, isn't it? I said, what about Faye? You're just going to walk out on her and the baby? You said this was my decision. You know that's not true. You know this is the last thing I want. No, love. This is definitely your decision. So this is my punishment, is it? Making Faye suffer? That's out of order. You don't want me anymore, and I accepted that like you asked. Now I'm moving on like you asked. If we can't be together... I know, but I didn't... If we I can't didn't... be together... in our home, in our bed... I can't be here at all. I, I can't see you every day, wave hello. Sit with a pint like we never happened. I can't do that, Anna. I can't do that. I'm leaving tomorrow. Yeah? Hi, love. Mum just told you you're in Scotland. Oh, I wanted to tell you that, love. Why? It's complicated. Is it because of you and Mum? Pretty much. You told me you'd work it out with her. Yeah, I know. You can't go. I'm sorry. But I love you. So, no fair Anna. Mum's taking the baby for a walk. I saw Faye. She's still upset you're going. Well, not sure where else I can say to her. Still. <sighs> See you, mate. Ah, come here. Look after your mum, Faye, and the baby, yeah? I will. I only wish I could have done that better. We'll keep in touch, yeah? Yeah. Here's your love. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't a better dad. Don't be daft. You gave us everything. Yeah, well, we both know that's not true, eh? Please ring when you get there. Yeah. Safe journey. Bye, Dad. for all that, isn't it? Hmm. Nice and good hands here. Right, well, you better go. You've got a plane to catch.
Lord was sitting just a few feet.